Hey, happy video Friday. I'm coming to you from the floor in my bedroom because that's where I get the best light this time of day to do the recording. So I have reader questions for you today. Random reader questions from my Facebook group. I'm answering the few that were posted before I did this video, saving the rest. We'll do it on another video. So um, I have a great surprise giveaway for you if you came here from my newsletter. If not, you should subscribe and let's get to it. Okay, reader questions today from you, real readers. This is actually a list of questions from my Jonesies group on Facebook. So if you're on Facebook and you're not in Jules Jonesies, you should maybe pop in there and join. We do some fun stuff and giveaways and it's just a great community. Anywho, uh, first question is, will the audio, will the Holding You series be put on audio. This is my first duet, my first books that I wrote, and there's not a huge amount of sales with those books at the moment, so it's kind of a hard sell for audiobook publishers at the moment. I can do my own um, searching for a narrator and hire a narrator as I do with a lot of my books um, and just have the production done for me and then put it up on all the sites. That is really expensive, so I would like to know that these books are doing well and that the audio should sell well. I don't know how it would do with something that far back on my list, so since I don't just have tons of money sitting in some audiobook account waiting um, to be used up, I'm going to hold out on the Holding You series for now. The next question is, will I do Harrison's story? Harrison is the young man from The Boy, from Look the Part, and I never say never, so I'm not saying that he won't get a story, it's just not in my immediate plans to do a story for Harrison. What is my favorite book? That's the next question. I get asked this all the time, and it's always bothered me, like something's wrong with me that I don't have one particular favorite book, but I don't, so I don't. I don't have one book that I love. I read a variety of books from different genres. I love fantasy books. I love vampire books. I love uh, romance, all kinds of romance. I like new adult and I like um, comedy and I like suspense. So I pretty much read like I write, um, except my reading is even more diverse because I love things that are not in romance. Um, years ago, I was totally addicted to Dan Brown books, like I couldn't inhale them fast enough. So that's always been a favorite of mine. Uh, next question, does Jessica from Jack and Jill ever get to drive the GTO? Yeah, she totally drives the GTO. I bet she's the only one who's driving it by now. So yeah, we know that answer. Let's see, what is my relationship to Wisconsin since I seem to have Wisconsin in different books? Um, well, I've written now, what, 21 books. I think Wisconsin is essentially in two series. It's in the Holy New series and then it's in the Transcend series. So um, I like Wisconsin. I'm a Midwest girl. I live in Iowa. I've been to Wisconsin. I've had family in Wisconsin. My husband and I went to a bed and breakfast in Madison one year for our anniversary and stayed there. We've been to Wisconsin for climbing uh, competitions for my nephew and my son. So it's beautiful. I love Wisconsin and it's just, I don't know, I just like it. So um, I write about it. <laughs> it's familiar to me. Let's see, will there be a follow up to Undeniably You? Well, I doubt it. Uh, Undeniably You just ends in my mind too perfectly. I don't like to mess with characters after I give them a happily ever after and otherwise I'm doing a spin off of something. So, yeah, probably not going to be any more to Undeniably You. Sorry. Um, Megan asks if there if I am going to do a story about Megan, the vet. I'm going out on a limb that Megan in my group is a vet and would like a love story told about her. I've written about a vet um, in Undeniably You. It was Dane and it would be fun to write about a vet who is a main character and maybe the character will be Megan. I don't know. I, you just never know. I'm pretty nice like that. What else here? Who did I get my sense of humor from? My parents are both very funny. They both love humor. We are a very lighthearted family. I married somebody who loves to laugh and has a great sense of humor. So 
I am around it a lot. Um, I'm probably a smart ass more than what people would like me to be. I probably don't take things seriously enough, but that's kind of how I navigate through life. And the characters that I write oftentimes have good sense of, sense of humors. <laughs> Did I say that right? Uh, let's see, how much do I pay Jen? Jen is my assistant. I pay her a lot and not enough all at the same time. Uh, Jen is very, very, very important in my life. She kind of holds everything together. So on my best days, I am at my best because of Jen. On my worst days, that means that I'm either not listening to what Jen is telling me to do or she's really sick or something like that, which doesn't happen very often, thank goodness. But no, I love Jen Beach. She's my assistant and she's magical. Okay, when I get to roam around without a mask after this COVID situation, where's the first place I will go? Uh, here's the thing, this, uh, this quarantine hasn't really affected me personally that much because I'm always home. I'm like a social distancer by nature. Um, now it's just cool to stay home. So I'm like in the in crowd and doing like my part by staying home. But um, where's the first place I'll go? I'm gonna go to Dirt Burger. That's probably the first place I'm gonna go. Dirt Burger is a plant-based restaurant in the East Village of Des Moines, Iowa. And they have the best burgers. They're all plant-based burgers, so hence the Dirt Burger. And they are so, so good. And they do, they source a lot of local ingredients. And so I get like their CSA salad that they have with like their ranch dressing. And then I'll get, Mm, probably one of their spicier burgers they have in Austin that has barbecue and everything on it. Um, yeah, I'm getting hungry talking about that. I'm going to eat. I'm such a foodie. When this is over, I'm going to sit in a restaurant and I'm going to eat. That's where I'm going to go. Uh, let's see. I think that's it for questions. The ones that I caught anyway. That's it. So... If you're in my Jonesy's group, you can add more questions. I will answer them on another video. Before I go, I do want to mention that if you came here from my newsletter, you know that just by opening up the newsletter and clicking the link, you are entered to win this week's giveaway, which is the Bookworm Box box. So the Bookworm Box in April had one of my books, The Life That Mattered, and they did a special edition cover to it. So that is in it, and it is signed. All the Bookworm Box books are signed, so there's that. There's some other goodies. There's a Savage by Mia Sheridan in there as well. There is a Mia Sheridan pen mate in there. Like I said, some other goodies. There is a personalized letter handwritten letter from me and then there is a letter from me as Sheridan as well so one winner will get that one reader somebody from my newsletter it's an international giveaway so everyone is included everyone has an equal chance to get that that is the giveaway for this week that's probably it you guys I have um, fortuity is the third book in the transcend series it is a standalone it is coming out on June 1st so keep your eyes peeled for that I'm gonna do lots of teasers coming up to that if you go on to Instagram I will be doing um, IGTV videos just about crazy random stuff I did um, some book reviews on there recently and we'll do some ARC giveaways from release copy giveaways of Fortuity. A lot of that'll be on Instagram because I kind of dig Instagram. <sighs> That's all I've got for you guys. Have a great weekend and we will check back with you in about two weeks. Bye guys.